tiny bit back north of east right now. So it's kind of crossed up with the original northeast wind. A little bit of a box shop. But we're still surfing along. Lots of white caps out here. Plenty of popcorn out there today. It's our apparent wind angle. It's still just behind the beam for the most part. When we surf, it comes forward a little. We rolled up about three quarters of the jib last night just to have a quiet night. Didn't seem to affect the mileage at all. The boat just kept absolutely ripping. What are we having for dinner, Healy? Chicken and chalada. Oh yeah, we're gonna bake it in the cast iron skillet. Uh -huh. Throw it in the nifty new oven. Let's see what's going on outside here. Let's see how we're doing on speed. Ooh, there's a genuine tin. Let's see what the sailing's like here. One of my favorite things is this little door. You can just close the windward side. <laughs> Making along. There's our lure back there. No fish yet. Well, a lot of breeze, but. Uh... Things are actually uh, seem uh, surprisingly mellow because we're going uh, kind of with the wind. Our apparent wind is on the beam, but we've got the sheets way out. I've got the jib led all the way back here to the uh, port uh, stern. That helps to keep it uh, a little more broad. Main provision out too, of course. Uh, yeah. More of a uh, thing called fine sailing. Fine sailing. We just need some fine fishing. Ooh, there we go. Mexico, Hawaii is 1940 miles that way. We got the tiraditos, they're going fast. We had a beautiful plate all laid out, and uh, the people started eating it. Oh man, it's going fast now. <laughs> How is it? Is it spicy? Como le gusta sabroso? Muy rico. Mm. Yeah, this was a bonita. Caught this little guy doing about 10 knots. We are flying along out here. Good. Lots of uh, express lane sailing. But everybody, right now, they're all about the sweet wasabi and. <laughs> Pelicano. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one. Hang on, I'm gonna get out here. I get a better angle. Two. Ah, oh, thank you. Surfing to Hawaii. That whole last one was. It was actually a video. It was actually a video. So I said, "Ah, bro." Brewed garlic on there. We got some kuyat lime coconut. Got some calabasa. A little vino tinto. Almost ready to go. Yeah. Monica, ¿qué hace de la cocina? De la rosa. Here you go, Abel. Can you can you uh, take it outside and shoot a little video of the waves real fast? There's Haley coming out from. Uh, uh oh, cameo. <laughs> this is the sea is out here.
impressive. How is it, Abel? Pretty good? Oh, man. Riquissimo. All right. Let's check and see what's going on outside here. Oh, almost the sunset. Running under the uh, double jib rig here, and it is doing a fine job. Although it's surprisingly, sailing surprisingly high, but uh, anyway. Fine sailing, fine sailing. Down she goes. <laughs> you just keep doing that. Surfing these waves. Heading west. Jane, this is N6 NXL Maritime Mobile, and here to give our report is my daughter Haley. So stand by one. Good evening, Jane. This is Haley. Are you ready for our report? Over. Hey, very good to hear you. Go right ahead. At time 0300 Zulu, sailing vessel Amorpha can be found at position 1 Niner degrees 01 minutes north. 129 degrees 04 minutes west, steering a course of 275 degrees true at boat speed 8 decimal 3 knots. Winds were northeast 25 knots, seas northeast 2 meters, cloud cover 100% and no bar but all well on board. Over. Oh, Lord, you, you did it. I think you've done that before. <laughs> And uh, here's your uh, big bag. I turned 0300 Zulu, sailing vessel Amorpha. November 6th, November x ray Lima, reports position. 190 degrees, 01 minutes north. 1290 degrees, 04 minutes west. On course 2752 at speed 8 decimal 3 knots. Wind north.
Are we there yet guys? Are we there yet? Almost. Pretty close right now. There's the port of Hilo over there. It looks very green. Sadly, that's because it rains a lot. It's rained four separate times this morning already just since it got late. So that's just great. Typical windward side. Yeah, some sunshine back there somewhere. the green buoy up ahead and there's the end of the blonde wreath there stretches all the way along here we are with a few other cruising boats and shaving my <laughs> Haley shaving literally everything. taking a shower away. this okay. turns out to be one of the coolest anchorages I've ever anchored in and the reason why is because there's a river up there coming down off the volcano flooding the bay with fresh water to the depth of about two feet it's deliciously cool about 66 degrees and underneath is the 80 degree ocean water but the salinity difference keeps it on top so when you dive in the bay here you get a deliciously cool bath except your toes are warm as Haley will attest <laughs> Oh, and there's the Disney cruise ship, by the way. 